Okay, this is the uh, final what it's going to look like. Um, got our bearings in place here and here. I don't think you can see over here, unfortunately. Um, got our main board here mounted. Now I let this side, I just put a screw over here. I did not put a screw over here. I kind of let it go back and forth so it could self-align a little bit. Um, got our adjustment here, which will, every time you push that down, it makes it a little tighter. I'm going to pull it back up because mine's already tight enough. But if you need it, uh, you know, push the bar up just a little bit. You can push this down, lock this down, and you can adjust up a little bit. You can also take these and adjust down a little bit to get a little pressure on the bar. So the very last part now is sliding our thing in and watching the whole thing work. I'm going to spin it a little bit here. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it spins everything really nicely. I still got to get the C-clip to go right here, which holds this whole mechanism in place. And there you go. It's a very simple setup, nothing spectacular here. Um, $4.50 here, it's a $9 board, I'm going to use half of it. $4.50, printer piece, printer piece, printer piece, um, printer piece. I had to buy these nylon bushings, um, you could use regular ball bearings if you wanted to. Now that comes out that way because it's just a spacer bushing. I actually have a real bushing back in there. Um, I did have these wheels custom made um, from a friend of mine um, at the Urethane Company. I can have these made for you if you like this design. It's not a big deal. Um, he can produce them. Um, I'm probably going to have him make like 12 of them to start with, so we'll have you know enough sets for six people getting them. Um, I'm not going to make any money off of them. It's just you know, I just felt this is the way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put the drawer in, see how it works, and I'll come back to video and show you that.